today I'm going to show you how to install Putty on Windows. I will show you how to use Putty with real server, with real hosting provided on parallelly. I will use with Putty, I will use FileZilla as well and show you how you can navigate files. So for those guys who of you don't know what is Putty, it is a client which allows you to connect to Linux servers and execute the same commands which you can execute on Linux servers originally. And if you don't have on server SSH in installed the on Linux servers then you simply would have to run like apt-get install SSH and it would install or set up a SSH on that particular Linux server. Let's open Google and just type in putty. Okay we need to get to putty.org website. Download putty and this is a free SSH and telnet client for Windows guys. This is like I said the same exactly if you would use Linux you wouldn't even need a putty. You could use instead like built-in Linux bash. Let's open and this up first download we are looking for this one download putty and you can download putty here just click on this here this is first what we need to do and then we need to find package files and here is like 32 bit and 64 bit and I have 64 bit computer and if you are using one of your latest computers then you probably have as well 64 bit computer and what we need to do here is just click here like put the installer MSI let's just click it and as you see it's downloading now and once it's downloaded just double click on this one and let's wait a little bit and and here you say keep it is normally doing this and you just say keep there and then double click again and this will open welcome to the putty release 0.70 64, 64 bits setup wizard and let's click next here program files this is where your putty will be installed just remember this or just for your reference so you know that your putty will be installed in C in program files guys so click next here and then in install putty files install now we need to wait while these files are installed on our computer and here we click yes and it will it will just ask permissions for your computer you say yes there you read me file we don't really need the readme file however say finish here okay we don't need this file here which was which is now opened and now putty should be installed on our computer and we need to close this window we don't have putty let's go in search and search for putty putty and here is this icon it's like double icon here just click on that and here if you if this window opens up then this means that putty has been installed here on taskbar at the very bottom you will see this icon what I normally do when I work for like many times with putty if I use windows for example not my Linux environment I just pin it so go on this icon on your taskbar right click and pin this program to task just click that icon and now whenever you will close your putty and you will need to open a new connection or you will want to connect again we you will need to click this at the bottom and here you type in your IP address to show you how you can use putty putty to access another server in my case I will be using putty and I will be using filezilla as well it is like file transfer protocol where I already created you how you can download this how you can trans transfer files to another server how you can get those files to your computer from another server and so on and so forth but I will be showing you with filezilla so you can see that those files in filezilla as well so as I will show you where those files are here on my hostgator C panel or control panel or in files as you will see I have here file manager if we, if I am in hostgator I click on file manager and it will open up my file system which are on that Linux server on my hostgator account and guys let's start by connecting with filezilla and if you don't have filezilla it's not a big deal you just watch this video so you will be able to see how we are accessing files and I will show you how those passes of files work and as you remember from my previous videos where I showed you how to use filezilla you need to enter host username and password and optionally you can enter one of two ports which is 21 for FTP file transfer protocol or 22 for SFTP for safe tr file transfer protocol to transfer files between these servers so let's start and I will go back a little bit to my host Gator and I will show you if you happen to work with C panel where you can find this like uh, IP address as you see my IP address is 192.185 
0.62.73 and if I open a FileZill and as you remember I was already connecting to FileZill so if you have been connecting to some server with FileZill you don't really need to use these credentials anymore you just click on this arrow which is arrow down and you see here I have my username Bugatti and my as you see IP is 192.185.6273 just click on that and it will connect to server straight away and here we click OK guys this is cPanel, cp Horde and HT passwords and so on and so forth and here we have this public underscore HTML as well and now if we go back to this cPanel and file manager you here see this cPanel cp Horde HT passwords p dot pki subcounts trash and cache and here you see this public underscore FTP and public underscore HTML where are your site files actually and as you remember my site was short tutorials and all my files for that site is in this public HTML folder if I click on it you see that this is WordPress there is empty installation there is no not really a site I just was showing you how you can install this site so now let's open our putty and putty uses port 22 to connect to the server and what we need to do we need to enter here host name or host name is the same as IP address which you need to connect and that is the same address which you use whenever you are connecting by using your FileZilla so I will open my uh, this host gator now I will show you guys just a second this is still I will grab this site IP address from my cPanel and I will open my putty and I will enter that IP here that's the first thing what you need you need three details to connect with putty to the server and first thing is IP address IP address of the server or host in other words and then you will need a username and a, a password which you are going to use to connect and in my case as you remember here as you see on the right hand side current user is Bugatti if you would be a root user of your server you would type a root but let's start connection and click here open after you have entered this host name so guys uh, well you didn't see I connected here to hostgator because I was not able to log in with, with this putty on hostgators and access it through SSH and this is because they put on their firewall port not 22 but 22 and 22 it's 2222 and this is what you can do if you have a Linux server you can put and allow some uh, ports to particular traffic coming into your server okay but this video is is not about firewalls and things like that so we will talk about site and now we will be logging in but like I said guys normally if you would be connecting to putty and you will be co using this putty to connect to server normally you will not have 2222 port but you will have port number 22 and not to uh, remember that that it is port 22 if uh, that server owner or administrator haven't granted you another port but normally it will be 22 port so let's put now our IP address and like I said we will need IP IP address and we will need username and here we go guys and here we have login as and as you remember my username was Bugatti so I type in Bugatti and hit enter and it will ask for password guys and if you didn't know you can paste password here in and you will even if you will type it you will not be able to see it in putty so I will copy my password here on another screen like copy and guys who have been working on Linux environment you know that you can't paste anything in bash so but in putty you can paste in by right click now I have copied in in an, in my other window and now I go here on my putty window and I right click and I hit enter and it should log me in now guys and as you see now I'm Bugatti at shardtutorials.com this is like user and host and I am logged in and here we can use simple like like I said Linux commands and you should be aware of Linux commands if you are going to use putty if you don't know Linux commands then just make sure that you learn them by going to at least basic commands like ls cd change directories and so on but I will show you environment how we can navigate around and how we can get to the same files which are here 
like I showed you before here on the left hand side you can see the C panel CP horde and so on and so forth until we see this public HTML and I will navigate you to this folder where are my site files like VP admin VP content and VP includes so first if you didn't know if you want to get to home directory and actually here is why I open this file zilla for you as you see this dash as you see here is backslash simply backslash and this means pretty much in any Linux environment that that is root directory and that's what we are going to do here on putty we will navigate to CD and we could leave it empty or we can leave uh, like forward slash and this will mean that we will get redirected to our root directory lab. so I click on it and I click LS to list files guys and uh, LS permission denied LS bin uh, so CD I go back out and I go ls and as you see here are those files dns bash logout and so on and so forth and I need to make sure I'm actually recording this this video as I go I haven't gone through anything this myself guys and yes as you see here we have our public html we have public ftp and all these files or folders or directories how you call them in Linux environment they are here if I open this putty up and and this is in our root directory so now if we would want to navigate into public html we would go to cd uh, we go cd under underscore html and hit enter and then we go ls and as you see now i have navigated to my files where are as you see vp config vp content and if i open up like browser window now Oh, sorry guys if I open my browser window here are those files how and we navigated to these files like by using putty all these files are in this directory I just listed them in in this order so you can see these directories and they are here so yes guys this is how you you can use putty you just can browse around if you want to clear you just go clear and you clear window and you can start again by ls listing what is in particular directory if you want to get home to root you just click cd uh, cd space like forward forward slash and you get to this directory you go again list and uh, actually this cannot open directory permission denied so pretty much this main root directory on this server it, it, it doesn't give me access so i don't i can't configure like installation of this server guys or this server environment so yes this is how you can use putty and how you can browse around and like I said once you know how to open putty that's the main thing what you need to know and all the rest is simple Linux commands which you use to browse around and you can even get uh, dump databases MySQL databases you can upload databases by using putty you can uh, transfer files and then all 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 the same commands as you use normally with Linux environment guys so yes this is it and if you enjoyed this video if you found it useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel and see you in my other videos and guys if you have any questions just leave them below this video and I will try to help you out